Good morning, friends. Welcome back to our last Sunday of March. Today is our last week talking about blueprints. Remember, blueprints is another word for plans. Today, we're going to learn that we are included in God's plans. In our Bible story, we're going to find out that people were so happy to see Jesus come to Jerusalem, they shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. So let's say our memory verse together that we've been learning all month long. Are you ready? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. And that's from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. Great job, guys. Good job on hiding God's words in our heart. Now, let's stand up and sing praises to God.
see when I'm mad You still love me and you want to help When you look at me I want you to see L-O-V-E, love for my friends and family No matter what I see God sees the inside of me The Lord is looking at my heart No matter what I see God sees the inside of me I was watching your show with my friends. It's so cool to know all these things about God's plans for us. But is there anything we can do for God? Well, first, thanks for tuning in. And second, that is such an interesting question. God made the universe and the earth and knows everything, right? God is ginormous, but I wonder if I can do anything for God. Maybe today's Bible story will help. I like to think of the Bible like a big blueprint for God's ideas for all of us. They are so helpful. Let's jump into our Bible story to see if we can discover ways that we can do things for God. It's time for our Bible story. Are you ready to learn about what Jesus was doing in Jerusalem? Jerusalem was a center of life for God's people back then. And even today, it's one of the most visited and holy places on earth. Awesome. In today's Bible story, Jesus is getting ready to go into the city of Jerusalem for a big celebration. Everyone must have been excited. You bet. People were so happy singing and shouting and dancing. People were waving palm branches and singing to Jesus. Even with all of the celebration going on, Jesus needed a ride into the city. I bet. Maybe a beautiful horse and carriage? You would think so, right? But Jesus told his disciples to go find a donkey. A donkey? That's what Jesus said. It wasn't even a big donkey. It was a small donkey that no one had ever ridden before. Why a donkey? Jesus had his reasons. Among them, Jesus wanted to show everyone that even though he was God's son and the most powerful king there was, he was going to do things God's way. And that meant he wasn't going to be the kind of king that won battles. He was going to be the kind of king that would lay down his life for everyone's sins. Jesus knew that by obeying God's plans, he was doing what God wanted done for not just a few people, but for the whole world. Does that include me? Of course it does. It includes you, me, everybody. I mean, everyone has a place in God's plans. Even a donkey? Yes, even a donkey. As Jesus rode that donkey into Jerusalem, the people placed branches and even their own cloaks on the ground for him. They even cheered for him, shouting, Hosanna, which means... Save us. That's right. The people were so excited about this Savior that was coming to save them. But they would soon learn that God's plan was not about saving them from the rulers. It would be to make sure all of them could be given a new life with God through Jesus. story told us that Jesus went out of his way to make sure everyone can be saved just like God wanted. He even brought a donkey into his little parade into Jerusalem. I'm so happy to know that God's plans could be for anything in the whole wide world. I am included in God's plans. God's plans to save all people through Jesus includes me and you. So friend, I'm glad you asked what we can do for God. I would say the first thing would be to say thank you to God for the wonderful plan to save us. But I'm sure there are other things you can do. Sing a song, pray a prayer. This may be silly, but I might even write God a thank you card. Friends, it's been such a wonderful time with you. Thanks for learning and growing with me. 
catch you next time. Peace. Thanks, Callie, for that Bible story. God has plans for us because He loves us so much. But is there anything we can do for God? We learned we can say thank you to God. We can sing songs to Him. We can pray to Him and even make a thank you card to God. We all have a place in God's plans. You are included in God's plans and God loves you. We have one more chance now to say our memory verse. So let's all say it together. Are you ready? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. That is Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 from our Bible. Good job, boys and girls. Before we go, let's say our prayer together before we leave. So bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear God, we thank you so much for the month of March that we have learned about your plans, that you love us, and you sent your son Jesus for us. I thank you for our leaders and our parents and those who teach us about you. Help us to have a good week and bring us back next week together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. See you next week.